Welcome to Java linked hashing. So previously we have studied array list, then we have studied linked list, then we have studied the hash sheet, and today we will be studying the linked hashing. So previously when we discussed the hash sheet, the problem was that, that their insertion water was not men men mentioned, but in linked hash sheet the insertion water is maintained. So first we will be understanding what is linked hash sheet. This is actually linked hash set class is hash table and linked list implementation. That means this linked hash set implements hash table class and linked list class. That means hash table and linked list both both sets are implemented here. It inherits a hash set class and implements the set interface. It inherits all the properties of hash set class and implements the set interface. Always you have to implement the interface. If something is declared as interface, we have to implement all the methods of this interface class. So this is about interface class. So what are the main features of Java linked hash sheet? First, like hash sheet. Previously we observed that the hash sheet also contains unique elements and like same, linked hash sheet also contains unique elements. Not only linked hash sheet, any type of set. If that is set is hash sheet, hash sheet or linked hash sheet, linked hash sheet or tree set, whatever, which type of set that is, that always maintains unique elements that always maintains unique elements now optional set operations that is in linked hash set we can perform all the set operations required for our dsa problems we can solve using this linked hash set this is non synchronized that is synchronized synchronization is not possible with linked hash set and it always maintains insertion order the main advantage over hash set if you need to maintain the insertion order in some cases you should approach for linked hash sets so what are the constructor here? First that is hash sheet. This is the constructor. Second that is hash sheet collection C. That is the constructor. Third that is linked hash set integer capacity. When you can declare a linked hash set with capacity. If you provide capacity of 5, it will allocate 5 memory space. And this is with integer capacity and float field ratio. Here you can provide the field ratio and this is also a by defined constructor. Now we'll move to the linked hash sheet implementation. Okay then first look. Our file we are maintaining all the hash sheet file in this directory, but we are in the main directory Java collection framework. This is the main directory. So we have to change our directory command cd that is change directory hash sheet hash sheet yt that is youtube. Okay, now let's make a file linked hash sheet one dot java. Okay. And always in here we have to maintain the same file, same class name as the file name. As the this is the class name, so we have to give I mean file name. So the class name will also be same. Same public class linked hash sheet public static void main. Okay, so first we will be implementing the linked hash sheet. Linked hash sheet of string. We can give any type here string long. So this time instead of string, let's proceed with long. Because for so many time we have used just the string string. Let's proceed with long. Set one. That is new hash sheet. New linked hash sheet. Okay, and this is now look. We have declared the set. Now we will be storing our elements and for that we will be using the dot add function set one dot add 10 set one dot add 12 you all know that long always contains integer type of value set one dot add 13 okay so this is all so to um, see all the written to check i mean to view the set one we'll use system dot out dot print then okay and set one now what should we do we should compile the file java compile minus d dot linked hash sheet linked hash sheet dot java now look we are trying to compile the file this file linked hash sheet dot java and we got error error file not found linked hash sheet dot java first try to understand the error is that file not found found linked hash set dot java because because java always expects the file name the class name to be same as the file name here the file name is linked hash set one and class name is linked hash set 
so you cannot compile this the name and this name should must be one so this is one okay now this problem is solved again try compiling oh sorry you have to change the compilation name one okay now we got problem in linked hash set Hero cannot find symbol they are not able to find symbol because we have not imported our method so import java dot util dot linked hash set and now we will not get any error now let's try again compiling java compile now look we again got an error we have to understand the error error incompatible types in integer cannot be converted to long that is we cannot convert the integer into long now whenever we write any things like this 10 12 these are as integer but if we want to mention them as long so we have to use this smaller letter previously also i mentioned all those points and again i'm mentioning so this is long now again we try compiling java compile minus t dot file name and now look our class has been declared this is linked hash at one dot class now we will run the file java linked file that is we will run the class hash shed one and you can see 10 12 13 etc element is printed what if you just want to remove any element so you can simply use set one dot remove remove 121 so we are removing the 121 and again we will compile the file set one dot remove We are not here here possible to remove the elements because we have used here 121 but here this is 12 l so we have to use 12 l and now it is possible to remove now you can try compiling and now see the element has been removed sometimes i also get confused that what happened so this was your typing mistake and that's why the method was not working suppose what if we want to add the entire set so you let's make another set linked hash set of type long always our type should be same set to new linked hash shade shade one dot add 20 l set two dot add 30 l okay and now we will add the entire elements with this set one set one dot add wall set two and we will be printing this time set 2 we will be printing set 1 as we are adding all the elements of set 2 is set 1 so let's again compile and we can see all the elements got printed what suppose you want to remove all the elements of set 2 from set 1 so for that we will be using the function remove all we will be using the function remove all and we will simply as we did add all we will do remove all set 1 dot remove all set 2 and now we will see all the elements will get removed after removing in java we always have to use plus for concatenation and you can see after removing this is 10 and 13 that means all the elements 2013 20 30 got removed so this is add all this is remove remove all these are the common methods used in linked list and suppose what you don't want to use long or just you don't want to use integer string those type of wrapper class you want to use their custom class let's say you want to use their class students yeah so let's say you want to use the class products you are dealing with a shopping cart or you are dealing with a, you are making your own e-commerce website and you are dealing with products so let's make another class for products products class products so what product can have it can have an integer id it will have a string product name product name product name it can have a description dsc etc and now we need to initialize all these products integer id comma product name 
string product name string dashing and this dot id that is equals to id this dot product name this dot product name equals to product name this dot dsc description that is equals to dsc so now we have created the class and um, using public would be better as we are dealing here so let's make it public else you have to make actually a object so this is public products now let's make object of this class products so this is linked has set linked has set and now the type is of products linked has set products product set charge so this is product set that is equals to new product new linked has set So this is product set so here we can add only this is a class products and we can add here only the objects of products so let's make let's make object of this class products products e1 that is equals to new product and first we need to pass the id so let's say one product name what product name will be let's say wiki galaxy choco wiki galaxy choco okay now let's say description wiki choco was so sweet was so sweet okay this is one description so let's copy it control c control v two three four okay so we declared here four elements four products so these are the four objects product 2 product 3 and product 4 now we will be adding those products in this product set this is our product set is just set and of type linked has set so let's make it product set dot add p1 so now added the product p1 product set dot add p2 product set dot add p3 instead of uh, declaring like here you could directly add also like this product set dot add now we'll be adding this entire product instead of declaring again and again control x so this is product set so the product p4 we have declared direct declaration and now we'll be printing the set system dot out dot print ln entire products are plus product set okay and now let's check if our class works or not java compile minus t dot linked okay third dot product name sorry this will always become this that was a typing mistake i just didn't notice so again compile java compile minus t dot link hash one dot java and our class is again generate so let's run and we can see the products product at the rate of oh, i got it actually got the hash set value here so we have to we cannot iterate like this we have to iterate the elements another way so for that we can use the for each now we have to use for each for let's make an object products for products p in product set or we could use the iterator function so we actually got the has value how they are storing the elements so instead of that let's now p equals to product p and now all the elements all the file will come here so let's print system dot out dot paint ln the id is the id is the id is p dot id look 
we can now we are iterating using the for each products p so all the one by one those values of products will come in this p and through p we can access this p this is integer id string product name string description so that way we can it, we can access the limit using the dot operator you i think you all know this so we'll be accessing p dot id plus product name is product is plus p dot product name plus description is plus p dot dsc and now let's check again and now we can see the id is one product name is wiki galaxy choco description is wiki choco so sweet so this is how we can make our custom classes we can make our own objects while making e-commerce or we can use the entire concept while solving lead code and data structure algorithms and this is how we have to show in your interview how you can you are implementing the concept your concept should be clear so in this session we discussed the linked hash set and previously we have discussed the hash set in the next session i will be discussing date trace set and then we'll be finishing the collection class then i will be starting java and javascript both and parallelly the lead code thousand questions so thanks for this class again meeting on next session on trace set